Hi everyone, this is Jean and today I will show you how you can convert the OWL box into a card. And of course, this is from the Lettering Delight Animals Bags and Boxes SVG set. And I will be converting this bag into a card. Okay, so to start, let's launch Make the Cut. And I am using version 3.2.1. So let's import the SVG set and the OWL is number 13 and I will check use actual and import it at 72 dpi. I'm going to be moving this OWL to the right hand side because I need the room on the left side of the page. So I will be changing the value on the X axis to 5 and I will hit enter. Next, I will bring my cursor over to the default layer here under layer properties. I will do a right click and select to each its own so that now you can see all the layers separated. I am going to hide all the layers and unhide the head and the body. Now for this tutorial, I will be using a lot of hotkeys because that is faster and also um, what I am used to. But for all the commands that I use the hotkeys for, you can find the same when you do a right click. And I will be using paste in place a lot and you can find the other commands under shape magic. Okay, so now let's start. I will do a control A to select all and I will do a control W to weld the two layers together. Next, I will copy this layer by using Ctrl C and paste it in place with Ctrl Shift V. Now, the top layer is actually the copied layer and I will need to have a mirror image of that. I will do a Ctrl M and I'm going to move that layer, that mirror image, to the left by changing the X value to, to 2.16. Now why I specifically choose this number is because um, I figured out that when I enter that value, the owl will just barely overlap on top where the years are. And I need them to overlap a little bit to make my card base. So let's weld this to um, these two halves together by doing a control A and a control W. And now that they are joined together, but you can tell that there is a hole in the middle here as well as the gap and we will have to fix that. So let's select the card base and do a control R for blackout. And I'm going to fix this gap by going to import shapes and under polygons double click on the rectangle to bring it to the mat and I will bring that rectangle over the gap and align it so that the bottom edge is over the bottom edge of the owl like that i will do a control a and a control w to weld it together so now you have your basic um card base now i wanted the wing of the owl to pop out so i'm going to show you how i did that right now so first Let's lock down this layer since we do not need to work on it anymore for now. Let's just lock it. So first, let's unhide the layer with the wing. And just for the sake of showing this um, clearer, I'm going to change the color. And because I do not need the face layer, I'm going to split 
the two parts up by using Control P. And I will click outside the blue bounding box and select just the wing. I will do a Control C to copy and a Control Shift V to paste it in place so that now you actually have two, there are actually two layers of the wing. I am going to move one of the wings to its own layer by clicking on this selection to new layer box. And now it is on its own layer here. So I do not need the other the, the other wing that's and the face anymore. I can hide it. Okay, so now let's do a shadow layer of this wing by selecting it and doing a control H. And without adjusting the shadow width, I will just go ahead and click accept. And without clicking on anything, I will just do a control J to join the two layers. Basically, I have just joined the shadow layer to the wing. And if I zoom in, you can see better that there are two lines. Now at this point, if I should send the command to cut, the entire wing will be cut out. But since I only want it to be a pop up, I will have to import Let's click somewhere and I will import a rectangle. And move it so that it is so that it overlaps the wing. And I will do a control A. Now in this case I can do a control A because the bottom base layer is already locked so it wouldn't be selected so I can just easily select these two parts by doing a control A and I'm going to do a boolean join on them I could do control U and just click apply so as you can see now if I do a cut the whole the wing will not not the whole wing will be cut out it's just this line will be cut and it can pop up. Now ideally, there should only be one line for the wing, but I wasn't able to do that. I couldn't figure it out how to do a one line cut in Make the Cut. So if somebody out there who is watching this, if you know how to do that, please email me and let me know. But otherwise, I am. this works for me. I'm happy with this. Because the margin of the two lines are very small so the shape is not distorted it still looks fine um, when I cut it it actually seems like I am doing two passes on the cut so it it works for me but again ideally there should just be one cut okay so with that let me zoom out so you can see the entire card and at this point all that you need to do is to cut out all the layers and adhere it to your card. It's done, basically. There you go. Just unhide all the layers and cut and adhere. Okay, so if you attempt to convert your SVG into a card, um, you are welcome to post a picture of your creation on my Facebook page. Just look for under a cherry tree and post it to the wall. I would love to see it. And just, um, just to show you how the cut looks like when it is cut out. It has that wing popping out. And actually, I have also converted or modified the cat bag and changed it into a card. And if you want to see how I did that, I have a tip on my blog for you.
that will show you how how I how I did this. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.